Al Jazeera and The Economist claim that Arabs in Jerusalem are discriminated against at traffic lights. According to The Economist, traffic lights flick green only briefly for cars from Palestinian districts while staying green for cars from Jewish settlements for minutes. And here is what Al Jazeera says. This is the main road serving the neighborhoods of Shuafat and Beit Hanina. Tens of thousands of Palestinians live here. So here we are, slowly approaching the lights. We've been in this queue of traffic for a very long time now, just waiting for the green. When it turns green, let's see exactly how many seconds we get. Let's see if we get through. I don't believe it. We're going to have to wait for another change of lights. Maybe we'll get through then. Yes. This time we're actually through. I don't believe it. Meanwhile, Al Jazeera claims that Jews in Jerusalem don't face such traffic problems. Here's how they describe what they call Jewish traffic at the other side of this same junction. When the light turns green, it stays green for a long time. So is it true, as the economists in Al Jazeera claim, that cars coming from Arab neighborhoods have shorter green lights than cars coming from Jewish neighborhoods? Here's the junction referred to by Al Jazeera. Cars coming from the north, from the Arab neighborhoods of Shuafat and Beit Hanina, have a green light for 18 seconds. But what about traffic coming from the east, from the so-called Settlers Road? A hundred meters before they reach this traffic light, they have to wait at another traffic light. These are cars coming from the direction of Ma'ale Adumim, the Jewish suburb east of Jerusalem. This is what it looks like every morning. How long is their green light? Twenty-two seconds. The economists in Al Jazeera also fail to mention that there's more than one road that residents of Beit Hanina and Shuafat can use to get to the city center. For example, they can use this recently built highway near Beit Hanina. This is the exact same road that passes the two predominantly Jewish neighborhoods of Pisgat Zev and Neve Yaakov. Both the Jewish and the Arab residents of northern Jerusalem use the same road to get to their neighborhoods. Yishai Golflam of Israel's Perspectiva Media Watchdog is on the ground in Jerusalem. I'm standing now in Beit Hanina in northern Jerusalem, an Arab neighborhood. I'm going to get into my car and see how long it takes to get from this neighborhood towards the center of Jerusalem and towards the exit to Tel Aviv. We'll see how long it takes and what we have to pass in order to get there. Follow me. And so we're now leaving Beit Hanina on our way to the city center. We're simply going to follow the signs uh, to see exactly how long it's going to take, what we have to pass to get there, how many traffic lights, how many intersections. I see we're already coming up to a sign. Okay, Ramallah, take a left. And it says over here to the city center, take a right. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Here's another sign to the center. Okay, that's exactly what we're doing, going on this road. And here we are on our way from Beit Hanina to the city center. On the left hand side, we have the Jewish neighborhood of Pisgat Zev. On the right hand side, we have Beit Hanina. Residents of both neighborhoods can use the exact same road, this road that we're on right now. We see uh, some uh, houses from the neighborhood of Shuafat, which is the Arab neighborhood south of Beit Hanina. So those are the houses you can see over here. And here on our right, we have some cars merging from Shuafat, so they can also use this road, that's nice. And here they are, joining us over here, welcome to the road. This is a beautiful road, over here it becomes three lanes. Okay, we're coming up to a new sign over here, city center, or just center, keep on going straight, okay, that's exactly what we're going to do becomes four lanes now this road, wow. 
Here we're coming up to a sign that says to Tel Aviv to take a right. So we're not going to do that now. We're simply going to go straight towards the center. Not too many cars over here this morning. At this point, the driver is on a bridge above the busy intersection that the economist and Al Jazeera say discriminates against Arab drivers. As we've just seen, though, this speedy overpass is used by both Jews and Arabs who live in northern Jerusalem. Well, we're after the bridge. At this point, we're way beyond the French Hill Junction, the Beit Hanina Junction. We haven't even seen one traffic light and we came all the way from Beit Hanina. And here we have it, finally coming to our first traffic light. Everybody together, Jews and Arabs. How does it work at other intersections in Jerusalem? This is the junction between Ashavina Road and Derech Hebron in southern Jerusalem. Every morning, residents of the Jewish neighborhoods of Al Nona and Ramat Rachel waited this traffic light on their way to the city center. The wait is a long one. While these Jewish drivers wait, Jewish and Arab traffic on the major cross street, Derech Hebron, passes freely, enjoying a long green light. Let's see what it's like for these drivers. And here we are standing. Um, we just came from the Jewish neighborhood, Arnona and Ramat Rachel. And um, this is the traffic jam every morning that all the Jewish residents of this neighborhood, these neighborhoods have to stand in in order to get to the center of Jerusalem. As you can see, we're standing, we're waiting patiently for a green light. And uh, we'll see how long it takes us. got stuck again. Wow. That's a very, very short green light, unfortunately. We're just gonna have to wait for the next green light. This is the same intersection from the south where cars, including from the Arab neighborhood of Beit Safafa, cross on their way to the city center. Let's see how long their green light lasts. We're still waiting for the uh, for the green light. Uh, we've been here for uh, quite a few minutes already. Hopefully, we'll be able to pass it this time. We haven't been moving for for quite a while. Ah, that's it. Hopefully, we'll pass this time. Hopefully, we'll pass. Okay. Oh, we made it this time. Wow, it's, uh, that, that took a while. Al Jazeera continues to mislead viewers when it refers to the light rail public transportation system being built in Jerusalem. And the settlers' journey to work will soon be even easier because the municipality is building a tramway for them. The rail lines have robbed the Palestinians of two lanes of traffic. In fact, the rail lines being built are not for settlers, but for all Jerusalem residents. Indeed, it is affecting traffic in Arab neighborhoods precisely because it will be serving those neighborhoods, making several stops in Shuafat that will allow Arabs to more easily access the city center. And the new rail lines don't discriminate. They affect traffic from Jewish neighborhoods equally, whether from Pisgat Zev, east of Shuafat, or on the major commercial artery on Jaffa Road. So, is it true, as the economists in Al Jazeera suggest, that Arabs always have shorter green lights? 
The answer, obviously, is no. Sometimes Jewish neighborhoods get the short lights, and sometimes Arab neighborhoods do. Much of the time, though, they wait at the exact same lights and suffer from the exact same urban traffic, just like millions of other drivers in countless other countries around the world.